Yo, how's it going, everyone? This is Mitchell Mander here. And Anne. Yes. You know. Anne. From Pokemon Horizons. Yeah, we're gonna be uh, talking about her in today's video. So this is gonna be a different type of video for the channel. We're gonna be doing a theory video. We're gonna be discussing the possibility of Anne being secretly part of the Explorers. Now, if I'm being completely honest, there isn't really a whole lot of material to work with here since Anne really hasn't made a whole lot of appearances within Pokemon Horizons at this point. Well, at least as of the uh, recording of this audio, which is uh, episode 23. <laughs> but we do have a few things that I find interesting so far that I, I kind of want to talk about. It, it, it's breadcrumbs, but you know what? Let's talk about it and uh, theorize whether Anne is potentially an explorer. Now, quick interjection, I'm not going to be long here, so... If you're someone that's new to the channel, you like this type of content, it'd be pretty cool if you sub the channel, like the video, and watch the video to the end. It really helps out, and I would definitely appreciate it. If you like the Pokemon Horizon series and you want to sub to a channel that talks about it, uh, you should totally sub to my channel. <laughs> I do uh, discussion videos on upcoming episodes for Pokemon Horizons, I do live discussions with fans regarding the episodes, and we assign a rating for the episode. We have a good time, we chat up, and I also do other streams. I, I do other video game streams as well, so if that's something that's up your alley, uh, yeah, sub the channel and all that good stuff. Anyways, uh, back to the video. So, what do we currently know about Anne? Well, Anne was introduced in Episode 1 of Pokemon Horizons as Liko's roommate at the Indigo Academy. In this episode, she got an Oshawa as her partner Pokemon, while Liko got Spiridito. And later on, she catches a Sandshrew. And her goal, as of episode 21 in Pokemon Horizons, is to be a trainer that focuses on battling. She has a very outgoing personality, and is much more extroverted than her introverted roommate, Liko. So moving on, what are the hints that indicate that Anne is actually an explorer in disguise? Well, for starters, Anne actually knows about Liko's pendant, as seen in episode 1 when Liko shows it to her at night. And I find it interesting that it's not too long after this that the explorers are after Liko at the school, and then at the same time you have the Rising Bolt Tacklers that were hired by Liko's mother to protect her, showing up at the pretty much the same time. So this could probably just be a coincidence, because Liko's mother did hire the Rising Bolt Tacklers to protect Liko. But I also wouldn't rule out the possibility that Anne was sent here by the Explorers to sign up at the Indigo Academy and confirm whether Liko has her grandmother's pendant or not. So besides that, is there any other hints we have? Well, we do know that Liko and Anne communicate over FaceTime, or at least Pokemon's version of it, and Anne knows that Liko is traveling with the Rising Bolt Hacklers. So there's that. And interesting enough, the explorers were keeping track of Liko's whereabouts for a little bit there with that tracking device that they planted on the ship in episode 3, until it was discovered and removed three episodes later. Now after this point, the next explorer that encounters Liko and gang is Spinal. Now I found it interesting that Spinal was able to find the Rising Bolt Tacklers very easily in Paldea, especially since the tracking device was removed so they couldn't exactly track their whereabouts. So I'm wondering if Anne was actually leaking Liko's whereabouts to the explorers. While well, Liko didn't directly tell Anne that where she was off to, this could be something she told Anne off screen. And yeah, I know. Being done in off screen land, not exactly the best thing, and not something that I want to be a possibility here. But I don't think we can rule this out. She's probably had other conversations with Anne that we haven't seen on screen, so. There's a chance she's like, oh hey, and I'm hanging out in Paldea right now and uh, traveling around here, so maybe Anne took this information and gave it to the explorers. Who knows? And speaking of FaceTime, the next hint doesn't actually come into episode 21, when Liko and Anne are FaceTiming, and Liko tells Anne that she's going to the Galar Mine. And then it so happens that Amethio and his gang also happened to be going to the Galar Mine at the same exact time based on the data they had gathered. They also later ambushed Liko, Roy, and Freed in the mine. And I found it interesting that Konia, 
said she expected them to be there. Um, huh? Now that's an interesting line. So, once again, this could be a coincidence since they knew that they were going after Rayquaza. So, there is that. But it's also possible that part of the data that they gathered may have actually come from Anne. And she was just supplying this to Amethio and the gang. So, um, yeah, there's that. Now, with that all said, is there anything else we got since... Episode 21 is the last time we've seen Anne. Is there anything else we got? Well, I did notice back when Sango was revealed, along with the other admins, some people on Twitter, I mean X, X, yeah, it's called X now, were wondering if Sango's real identity was Anne. Yeah, I'm going to be completely honest. Um, I don't think this is the case. Um... I know that both characters have a fang tooth, but besides this one similarity between the two, they don't look anything alike. They don't have the same hair color or, you know, eye color looks different. They have different VAs as well. So, yeah, I don't think that Anne and Sango are the same person. No, there is a slight chance that maybe they're siblings or something like that, but... I'm not sure if that's the case. I feel like this is just a coincidence, so I don't think this part of the theory holds any weight, so we can rule this possibility out. Now, putting all of this together, what do I honestly think? Do I think that Anne is secretly an explorer? Um, to be completely honest, as of right now, I'm kind of 50-50. Anne is a character that honestly I wish had appeared more in the series, as I really like her personality. And I think that she works as a good foil for Liko and her personality. I just think the two of them just work well with one another. So it's a shame that she's not in the series as much. So her potentially being the Explorer would not only be a crazy plot twist for the series, but it would also be a good way to give her a more prominent role within the series. It would be a little disappointing for the series to introduce a character like her as a good friend of Liko, only to relegate her to a very just minor character who just appears very seldomly so hopefully they do something with her whether she is an explorer or isn't one i just hope that she gets more spotlight in the future because i think that she's actually a pretty cool character and i'd like to see more of her so what do you guys think do you think that Anne is secretly an explorer do you think that she's not is there any other hints out there that i missed potentially that indicate that she might be working with the explorers? I'm curious to see what you guys think. So in the comment section down below, post your thoughts. Do you think that Anne is part of the explorers or is not part of the explorers? Let me know guys, uh, new to the channel. Definitely uh, sub to the channel, like the video, all that good stuff. And guys, have a good day or night where you're at. And I will see you all later. Bye.